a geographic information system. It's one that something allows you to uh, store, view, interpret, uh, modify, um, spatially reference data or location-based data. Um, and so here we have a little, just a little view of um, the uh, uh, smart map, um, basically the software that we use. Um, and so the beauty of GIS is really um, in uh, the fact that not only do you have this graphic vector-based data, um, but each each little record here, uh, this is actually a building footprint, this is Trierville. Each record has data attached to it. And um, as you can see on the left here, uh, there's a ton of different attributes. So for instance, uh, the address of the building, the age of the building, the number of square feet, the number of stories, and so forth. And uh, we can actually join other data sets to this, uh, not, not just building footprints, but obviously there's tons of other geographic features, you know, parks, lakes, rivers, transit, curves, hundreds of different things. Um, and so uh, these are just some examples of what I've used, uh, at least in my work, uh, my professional um, job at UIC. These are actually field observation maps. Uh, that we use in the field to gather information um, regarding the built environment, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, all this data was collected. So uh, basically looking at the characteristics of the street. Um, so how many, uh, what's, what's the speed limit on this particular stretch of intersection? Does it have a sidewalk? Uh, does it have a crosswalk? Is it a bike lane? Um, and so hundreds of different data points were gathered and essentially uh, eventually will be synthesized into something meaningful, so I can't really speak to that yet because it's an ongoing uh, process. Uh, and again, this is uh, this is kind of what I've done with um, geographic access to healthcare. Um, you've heard of food deserts, I'm sure. Uh, we're actually looking at uh, what, probably a misnomer, but um, pharmacy deserts, essentially it's the same type of um, type of concept. So what parts of what parts of the city are lacking in uh, access um, to pharmacies, primarily based on uh, distance um, and racial